I hope you brought your nose plugs because today's video is going to be a stinky one. First off, I'm not stinky. I'm pheromone maxing. Kids at school don't really get it, so I'm not surprised that you on TikTok would not get it. So yeah, that's what we're talking about today. Pheromone maxing, which is what you're going to hear the dude under the table talking about. This whole account he's running is just him posting about how he is increasing his natural odor by being stinky. I'll... I'll check what your username is pretty soon, but you just said I was stinky? That's not correct. Sure, I may not bathe, but I have natural pheromones, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, he doesn't stink, he just has that new Bath and Body Works scent of I'm ugly and I'm proud. That eyebrow burning off special. Anyways, like I said, don't bully me, it's not kind, and I'll try to get your account suspended. Peace. The kiss was a bit unnecessary, but I will agree with him. The bullying is also not necessary. But I will say for the record, before we go through the rest of these videos and stuff, I'm like 50-50 at this point on on if this is satire or not. But I just wanted to put that thought out there. Just uh, I'm aware that it could be fake, but still I think it's, it's very much so fun to look at. Misconceptions about pheromone maxing. Um... Lots of trolls in the comments saying that I'm stinky. Well, in real life, I'm not stinky. And a lot of people are actually surprised often when I say that I don't shower. AI may be taking our jobs, but this is one thing they're never going to be able to replace. And even scarier than that is that people actually do think and act like this. They have enough grease in their hair to run a McDonald's and then some oil left over to give me an oil change. It's, it's scary. I, <clears throat> actually, my health teacher um, was quite surprised when I said that I don't shower and I explained uh, pheromone maxing to her thoroughly in front of the class and how alphas and omega males do it. Shout out to all my other alpha and omega bros out there that partake in pheromone maxing. <laughs> Instead of showering, I just imagine all the people that say they're doing pheromone maxing just lick each other clean like cats. But basically like the rundown of of pheromone maxing, what you have to do, just like, stop showering, um, wear your clothes for a little longer, stuff like that. So in short, just be lazy, don't shower, crank the AC up, piss and shit in your underwear, and then keep wearing those around, let the scent really soak in there. And then you're one step closer to be a pheromone maxing master. The food you eat also makes a difference. Um, Fast food is more potent. Um, things like Red Bull, too, they help. He's just laying out the actual formula in a step-by-step -step process to become Job of the Hut. P.S. One last thing. Um, if you wanted an analogy, pheromone maxing would be like a keto diet for your hygiene. Um, I forgot to say that, so I'm putting it here. Um, peace. Uh. I've definitely heard better analogies. That's like comparing exercising your muscles in the gym to exercising your heart as a muscle by getting very obese. But yeah, that's a little good introduction to pheromone maxing, intro to pheromax, pheromone maxing course, if you will. The page is just littered with it at this point. Like, it's, it's non-stop posting about pheromone maxing, which it's, it's a blessing, honestly. It's been bestowed upon us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it every Christmas. Yeah, if you're getting that much deodorant and body spray, maybe take it as a hint, a little shoulder nudge. But he, I think the comment is very funny here. Someone said, was wondering how long it takes with pheromone maxing to notice results from women. And he said, I've been pheromone maxing for a while now, seen in all the deodorants I've been given since starting, but I've yet to see worthy results. <laughs> So this dude's really just n no hose maxing at this point. But I wanted to show you some more videos here. The the shower ones are really, it's a spectacle. I think it's day 10, trying to get him to shower. I just, I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, fucking look at this.
You're gonna have to spray him with the water hose like he's a dog. Hose him down. Bring out the hose. But the stench maxer was looking really uh quite stinky there at the end of that 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 clip. Hey bud. Hey. No women in my room, mom. Okay, I know. I just wanted to ask Unless you. Unless they're Discord kitten. Jesus Christ, Isaac! I just need your fucking laundry. Where is it? Mom, you don't need my laundry. Isaac, it fucking stinks in here, man. We just need to do a load of laundry. Then just... don't enter my bedroom. I am taking care of this. Where is it? Mom. I will say, for someone who's stink maxing or pheromone maxing, they the, the room is surprisingly clean like that's uh, it's more clean than my room is currently but that is also pretty based of him to say no women allowed in his room unless it's a discord kitten yeah so who knows if it's real or fake that's all i wanted to show you from the fluff dumpster they had a little ringworm saga and a poop wall saga that i'm not going to show you in this video i think you can go look at that if you really are interested it's a it's quite the journey through this page but other than that i'll catch you in the next one